our sustainability initiatives have come about through the will of our people, of our staff. It's, it's what they told us they wanted when we developed our sustainability plan. There's you know, a real passion for sustainability initiatives. We really want to see a clean marine environment. And I think that's really fulfilling for us as an organisation to know that we've made a difference. We're embedding sustainability across the organisation, on land, on the water and underwater too. On land, we're making big changes to achieve net zero by 2040. Within the next couple of years, all our operations will have switched to renewable electricity. We're investing about $60 million to provide renewable shore power to the ships that use our berths, slashing thousands of tons of carbon emissions each year. And we're monitoring air and noise emissions from port activities to minimize the impacts on all of our local communities. At sea, we're looking to reduce our own fuel consumption and we'll continue to review and consider the adoption of zero carbon technologies in the future. We're also helping to remove plastic and other waste from waterways through our partnership with the innovative Seabin project. And as always, maintaining our readiness to act fast and protect marine ecosystems in the event of a maritime emergency. Under the water, we're constantly surveying the seafloor to ensure safe navigation. We're working with other agencies to prevent the entry of marine pests into our ports. And we're collaborating with scientists, indigenous groups, and community organizations to help regenerate important habitats like Posidonia seagrass, which so many native species depend on to thrive. I just feel really proud and energized by all the stuff that we're doing, the commitments that we're making, and the changes and the, and the impact that we can have.